Hey, what's up guys? All right, there we go. Now we should be all set. <laughs> awesome. There we go. Now we're ha we're in a good spot. Okay. So, we're going to just sketch uh some more fun stuff today. Um I am uh got the day off and been working on the setup a little bit and just gonna work on some sketches so if you guys enjoy this let's see I'm gonna do that and then so, so there we go he's back hey So I had so much fun on the uh, that space image that we did last time. Um, I thought it'd be fun to do another space image, but maybe this time uh, an interior. Um, and I want to see if we can get something kind of spooky and stuff. So, um, so that's the goal with this. So we're going for like a spaceship. Um, things are not quite right though, inside. Won't say it's uh, alien themed, but uh, it's hard not to think of great movies when you think of a scary spaceship and uh, what could be lurking in the shadows and stuff, so. You know, <laughs> but we're just going to kind of free sketch here and see if we can come up with um, something fun. So again, I'm starting with kind of big shapes, um, moving paint around and seeing if we can't come up with uh, some fun ideas from that so let's see let's do a there we go actually let's go ahead and get some And you'll see how this kind of comes together. Really, I'm just trying to get some shapes out there for this place, and then we can tweak it into the right kind of mood that we want. But um, you got to start somewhere, and I like to kind of start textural sometimes. Um, so that's kind of what we're doing right now. Let's see, 340. It's 340 here. So we'll just maybe spend um, another 30 minutes on this and see what we can do. Today we're just kind of having fun sketching and no real, no real plans other than have fun. Okay, so I'm kind of thinking we get off the floor a little bit and extend this up. Maybe come wider over here. Something like that. I'm going to select everything, paste it so we get that guy. I'm going to select it. Uh, Control Shift I to invert that selection. Edit, fill, content aware. And bam. It just helps you kind of fill out the canvas a little bit. Um, especially in these early phases while you're you're trying to kind of 
just figure out what your your place is here, what you're doing. Ooh, okay, maybe maybe this guy. There's a window, okay? And it kind of curves away from us like that. That's kind of fun, right? You'll see. And it gets further away, further away. So we're way out there. Cool. Nice. All right. We ready for some uh, some flow? Let's see. I'm thinking maybe we do overlay. Now let's push it into this. I don't want, oh, you know what? Let's do hard light and get some greens in there. This is kind of an eerie place. I want to make it a little off-putting, but you'll see what we're doing in a second. See, now that we, we have some information out there, we can blur our lens a little bit okay and create um just kind of fudge these details to get into kind of a so we're not drawn to the brush strokes anymore it's kind of fading away and getting that atmosphere that we want maybe oh yeah here we go okay so maybe there's like all these wires and stuff out here. Let's push all that back. <laughs> Someone's asking, uh, what did I have for lunch? I had some, uh, some salmon left over from dinner the other night. It was very delicious. Okay, so let's see. Oh yeah, so these, I'm thinking we, oh, let's do, you know what we do? Let's get this guy, get some spacing on it. Do that. We have that brush and it's just kind of repeating shapes out there, you know? <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, also, let's do this. Let's take... Uh, Let's take a selection, okay? New layer. And I'm thinking we grab some of the list cool. And let's make some uh, uh, some um, paneling that we can duplicate and kind of throw on this uh, window here you know so sometimes it's easier to paint it flat like this and then we can put it into perspective so let's see what we can do with this um, oh you know what let's do
All right, let's take that. Okay. So we got this thing here. Let's just see what happens when we, uh, oh, you know what? We probably need some verticals in it. Otherwise, it's going to be weird. All right, it's good enough for now. Looks terrible, but we'll try to make it look nicer. <laughs> what a lot of it. This is about, okay, here we go. So if we get this down here, get this here. Um, it's probably a better way to do this, but that's okay. Let's just see what we get. go see what I'm doing and so you can get this kind of thing going on now I can put layers on top of that that are clipped to that one right and set this to like multiply and have it be knocked back uh, maybe do a new one we'll set it to color dodge for now even though that's terrible And it just helps get in some stuff that's sort of in perspective. <laughs> and um, you'll see, you'll see. But uh, sometimes I do that to get something started. Okay. Let's see, let's poke some more holes in this thing and get some more negative space or negative shapes back here. And some fog. Okay. And I want, let's see. Let's actually work on these windows a second. You know what we could do? Let's do select color range, select that orange, grab those windows, okay? And then we have the new layer, so let's hide that selection. And can we just go black out there? And then Let's see, where should the planet be? Sounds good. Now we need um, somewhere in here. We're doing another planet out there, and actually, let's just do that. Perfect. Uh huh. Then let's do this. Bring this up. Okay, we don't want that everywhere, so I'm going to invert that mask and then paint back. Cool. Okay. Let's see.
Actually, that was a mistake. Let's see. Cool. New window. I need to see this thing from afar while I'm working. So I'm going to put this down here and now I can see a, uh, a zoomed out version uh, down there. And uh, well, I have the zoomed in version up here. So, okay. Let's see. Let's keep going. You know what? Let's put some paint dynamics on this. If we have color dynamics and you set this control to pen pressure, that means when you um, you can select uh, your foreground color and then select a background color. So I have this, that, and then uh, the green and then the black. So the harder I press, um, it changes color, which is kind of nice. So I kind of like doing that once in a while for stuff like this where I don't want to paint over that wire again, you know, with the other color. So I can just um, um, put that dynamic on there and then you get, get some fun stuff. Let's see. So we're creating these kind of diagonals going down. Um, it's really something that would be nice to block that out in 3D, but um, since we're only going to spend um, about a half hour on this guy, you know, um, I'm not worried too much about about uh, perspective. Um, it's really just to try to get the impression of this place. Um, I want this more into the yellow. Okay. So we have some good stuff going on. I'm going to do a multiply layer and try to knock some of this back into shadow. Cool. So you see how we're just kind of creating some noise and then bringing it all together um, with these kind of adjustments, you know? Nice. Glad it's starting to look a little spooky. Oh, you know what this stuff could be? This almost looks like stuff on the window, you know, like that's been crusting on there. Um, maybe mold or or like bacteria, maybe this place is all infected and stuff. So we'll get this going. Help that out. And... Yeah, 
Um, let's knock that back. Okay, got an idea. Um, this stuff is it's wrong. So we're just going to fix that. Um, sure. Okay. <laughs> oh, you know what? Let's do. We could do some like displays over here. Oh, maybe they're red. That'd be cool. All right. Okay. Again, we're we could get some perspective lines going, but we don't have a lot of time. To try to sketch something like this so I am just guessing and we will fix it later if we want to continue with this so let's get some hot displays over here get some rims on that like some there's some UI oh maybe there's a planet on that screen Cool. All right. Um, might be a little saturated, so I'll do a Control Shift U, which desaturates it, and then I can do Control Shift F to fade that, and just bring it down just a little bit around there. Perfect. And then I can glow these guys with a new layer and hit them a little bit. See. Nice. Okay, so maybe there's some glow from those displays on the uh, down here in the consoles, you know. So I'm just gonna indicate some of that, or suggest it rather. Okay. Cool. All right. It's good for now. Let's um, let's figure out this background. So let's see. We started about twenty minutes ago, so we got another ten minutes. Let's just figure this out. Maybe this goes up. Hmm. Just helping, giving it some perspective, some fake perspective, because I could make this more accurate, but uh, keep painting. <laughs> cool. Okay, let's fix this over here. Uh, what's our, see this is where, what am I, what am I, what's my shape language that I'm, I'm, I'm kind of defining in this piece, right? So we have straights of this console, or uh, diagonals rather. Um, we do have this curved roof here. So I got to continue this down and then get that edge in there. Cool. And then let's see about this background. Just fuzz that out. Okay. Hmm. 
I'm going to dupe this. Nice. Cool. All right. Last little touch. I think we need something. You know what? What if we just get some more red in there? What if this place has just got some nasty stuff hanging from the ceilings, you know? There we go. Uh, let's see. Mm, not sure if that shape will work, but we can always fix it later. Let's see. That's what we're trying to do. There we go. Um, let's turn down the opacity on this guy. Nice. And then we can do a new one. And let's see. What am I doing? There we go. So we're just getting some, some cloth in here. Um, give it something else going on. Okay. Got a few more minutes on this one. Let's see. What else can we do? Um, There we go. So I'm just helping out the window light on the ground here. Cool. Uh, new layer. You know what? I'm just going to get some more, more of that blue in here. Cool. And let's see. Fix that paint stroke right there. Nice. Cool. And then let's do overlay. Gonna get some stuff going on on the ground. Break it up. Let's, let's see. Oh, 
Okay. Seems pretty good. Right. So something went down here. Maybe a battle. Maybe a fight with an alien. So I'm just I was just indicating some some blood on the floor. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'll knock this guy back. Fix these overlapping shapes. And okay, fix this. This planet is not reading well, but that's okay. That's all we can do. Maybe just give it some more light. Yeah, it's not reading as a planet, probably because it's the same, uh, that's better, the same uh, shape as, you know, these, these um, support beams, you know, so we'll just, we'll just call it there for now. <laughs> Nice. Get some more light up here. Okay, cool. Let's just do last little touch. Let's create uh, some sunbeams, or, or not sunbeams, because we are on a spaceship. Uh, <laughs> some light beams up here. Um, just coming in like that. Perfect. And then I'll just, something like, ooh, that's good. And then we will get a, there we go. And then That works. Sweet. Thanks, Ninja Monkey.
you're watching this on YouTube, um, someone on Twitch is liking this one. Yeah, you know, when you do sketches and things, some sometimes they work out, sometimes they don't. Um, can't hit it out of the park on all of them. <laughs> Especially when you don't have much... Um, Especially when you're free sketching. And, you know, you don't have time for options and things. So I'm glad this one's coming out. Okay. Oh, I forgot the stars again. Did that last time. <laughs> Actually. Where's my star brush? There it is. Uh, new layer. Stars. There we go. And then let's sharpen them up. Perfect. And then, actually, we don't need a mask. We'll just erase them. Okay. Cool. Uh, someone asked if I'm posting the sketches anywhere. Yes, um, I will get them on my Facebook page, Facebook uh, slash Metavisuals. I'll get it on there and um, on my Twitter Just at Metavisuals. Everything's at Metav <laughs> Metavisuals, so um, it's easy to find. But um, I'll get those on there for you guys after the stream. Cool. All right. That's good for now. <laughs> we'll call that one. That one done. Space City 2. Nice. And a JPEG. So let's buzz through it um, so you can, you can see if you missed the beginning of this. Um, I'll just step through it because the way I like to paint usually is from uh, uh, from the bottom to the top. Um, especially on sketches, I just kind of work and drive. And so if every time I want to make a new change um, and I'm not sure about it, I'll make a new layer. So um, I'll just turn all these off and then we'll just dive through it. Let's see. Um, and we'll go ahead and do this. There you go. Cool. Okay. So it started with just loose kind of sketching and stuff. Um, for this one, I was pushing paint around until I found something uh, uh, that I liked. But it was all about doing a spaceship interior and making it kind of off, off-putting, uh, scary. Probably could have made it spookier and scarier, but um, this is the best I could do right now. <laughs> so um, so I, I got in some darker values, wanted to get some lighter ones in there. So here's, here's doing that. Um, So this was filling out the canvas because I kind of changed the composition. And then I saw like a swoop going on here. So I wanted to swoop the windows down. Um, so I just kind of copied that and, and then warped it into place. Um, at that point, I was, I was pretty settled on, okay, this is starting to look like it could go somewhere. So um, did a couple adjustments and color things to have more colors on the canvas to kind of work with. So I got to this point and then smudged a few areas just to lose it. And like when you take a camera and you put it into focus, um, that's kind of this approach. So if you squint your eyes, it, it kind of looks like the final. Um, uh, and so here I'm just pulling out those, those negative shapes of those wires in the fog there. Um, and then we got some simple texture going on of these, these wires. Um, just increasing the spacing on the brush, which kind of creates those. Um, we made this guy, uh, which we created flat, 
and then warped into it warped into position here. Looks a little circus tenny, but what can you do? Um, <laughs> I'm doing this fast. Got a little highlight on there, and then let's see. Now it's just about painting. Oh, I wanted the space in there, uh, our darker sky. I didn't want it all blown out. This would read as the interior of something, so I was like, ah, push it back, get a planet out there, see how that works. Um, and then overall, the values are pretty medium to dark, so this was about punching out some of these highlights. Um, again, just creating more opportunities for creating some lighting in here. Um, got some paneling going on. Uh, creating those repeating shapes going back. And then this was about getting those big diagonals, which, which helped with uh, just making it look a little bit more spacey. Um, this is about light on the floor. And then again, overall, these values, because I'm color picking from what's on the canvas, I'm doing those broad adjustments of, you know, giving your focus here, vignetting the frame and stuff. Um, more crud on the windows, creating those panels on the left with a little glow, uh, some light from those panels, and then this is just painting. A little more atmosphere in the back, a little color boost in the center, help with the focus, and then I was playing with cloth and stuff. So I got some shapes in there, some better lighting, Blood on the floor, working on that planet, boosting areas, getting some steam uh, light rays over there, and then adding some highlights on the windows. And that's it. Nice. Well, that was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. What should we do now? Let's see. What time is it? 4.20. Um, close that down. Actually, you know what we could do? Should we do another one? Let's do another one. We can actually copy all that and make a new canvas. Okay. We'll close the old one. Or we could put it down here. Should we put it down here for reference? That's what we did first. And we'll take this new one and we're just going to blur it. Do motion blur on it. Vertical. Get something like that. That's pretty fun. All right. So let's start with this and then see if we can make a variation on that theme um, and see where that goes. So that'll be kind of, kind of fun. So we'll put another 30 minute mark on this and then call it a day. So here we go. Let's see if we can't get spookier, because um, this is a kind of happy corridor, despite the the blood on the ground. But you know, we can we can do better. Um, let's see. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna blur this sideways just a touch. Um, There we go. Just to get rid of the vertical lines. Okay, cool. So now we have something to, to go with. Okay. Because it's a nice palette that we were kind of working with in those cools and the reds. So let's see if we can do something else along those lines. I still want to get those wires in there. But maybe we do... Let's see. Maybe we do... about like an alien breakout place with like pods and broken wires like something is broken out yeah that's a great idea kind of spooky alien breakout place pods 
pods. Let's do that. It's a great idea. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> so one thing we could do, what if we make one pod? Let's see. Let's make, ah, well, we can, we can lasso it out. Um, and then we can dupe it, make a ton of them, make one giant one, and then have someone busting out of that one. That'd be pretty cool. So let's see, let's make a little space pod. Thinking matrix, you know. Uh, so maybe there's light at the top of these things, right? And we won't put the little light in there yet because we can, I'll show you an idea. We could do it afterwards. Um, but, ooh, maybe then do red. Uh, let's see. So, it's this kind of thing. It's got three windows, okay? And then maybe there's a panel on the front. Oops. Well, let's put it down here. A little highlight on that. Okay. It's kind of bell shaped, but that's okay. Um, Cause we can, the overall design of this room will help this guy out. Let's get a little more green in the bottom. There we go. Okay. You'll see what I'm doing in a sec. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's just start with that and see where we go. So if we get one of these, I'm going to copy, merge, paste. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of that guy. So we have this guy here. And I'm going to make a duplicate and keep one hidden so I have like an archive of that guy. Um, and let's see what we can do here. So I'm thinking... Ooh, you know what? Actually, I want that guy. Okay, duplicate and bring him in. Let's do All right. Cool. Take those guys, merge those and Okay, take all those guys, merge those. Warp. Let's do perspective on that guy. Ooh. Should we go up or down? Let's do that way. Um. Could just be going up, huh? Okay. Well, uh, let's see. Let's get a bunch of these. We're just playing right now. Hang in there. Actually, let's bring that back. Okay. Sorry, I'm thinking. <laughs> All right. We'll get something roughed in back there, and then 
I think we the, the piece will go pretty quick because we have a base of just noise of pods back there. So one second. And actually these guys could come. Okay, cool. Hang on there. Okay, let's see. We do the one. Okay. Just for kicks. Let me see what this looks like. Ooh. Okay. You know what? Let's just get painting. We can bring that guy back. But let's see what we can do here. Because we're spending too much time on that guy. But uh, here's the idea. So you get something like that. And then... Um, what we can do, uh, maybe there's a big one right here. Oh, okay, I got an idea. There we go. Uh, want that kind of nasty yellow color? That's kind of it. Okay. Uh, new layer. Got an idea. See, it, sometimes it just helps. You, you kind of work on a little bit and then just doing that those duplicates and stuff yeah yeah it sparks an idea of what this thing could be and stuff so you'll you'll see we'll see if you like it but uh, I think I got an idea now okay so this is here well let's do Oops. Ah. All right, let's see. Okay, so this is arching like this. And you have, you know what? Gosh, I'm just not liking it. Okay, hang on. Oh, okay. Second. It's a load of poop right now. <laughs> hmm. Okay, new plan. Sorry. I think I'm gonna just see what else we can do with this thing. Cause uh, I'm not quite liking what's going on, so. Let's, uh, let's play. And we'll see. We'll see if we can get something else out of that uh, as inspiration. Let's see. And that's kind of, you know, sometimes things don't quite go how you want them. But, um... Let's see. Recompose. Ugh. 
<laughs> so that didn't quite work out. I don't know. I'm not liking it. I'm not liking it. Sorry. Didn't, it didn't uh, let's get rid of all those pod things. You know, um, it was an idea of like trying to get those echoing shapes back there. It really just takes more planning uh, for that kind of thing. Um, but uh, yeah. So we'll we'll try something else here. See if we can save this guy. But uh, I might just start something something new here. Sorry about that. So right now I'm kind of searching for something new to do with this composition. Um, and sometimes I like to uh, uh, play with the light and color and just kind of smudge it and then see if see if something new sparks out of that. Um, so we're just seeing, just seeing what we could do. Do uh, so I'm liking the mood of this, at least the color palette. It's pretty interesting. Get those reds in here. Um, so we'll see where this goes. It's a different palette I haven't painted in before. And who knows, maybe our little capsules will make a comeback. <laughs> Moxie on Twitch, uh, that's a cool scaling trick, making the ground plane from those pillars. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, to see what you can do with certain things, like even take a selection like that and paste it, and you get you get interesting stuff like this, which you could reuse or um, you know scale into place uh, for a beam or something. Um, uh, it's pretty. I, it's something that I, I don't do enough of. I think um, is where you have part of your canvas and reuse it somewhere else. Um, you know. Uh, so it's it's a fun technique to kind of re remind yourself about um, but I stumbled on it there or like you could even do that and then eat away a little bit of it and get some you know something that you could paint but uh, if you start with part of your canvas sometimes it it helps it get there you know uh, so yeah glad you like that see let's get light on the ground right there because we have this like shadow shape on this 
uh, pillar. Um, so let's, uh, once we do that, get a red there. Cool. Nice. Okay. Let's do that ground light. And we'll want it in here, but let's go ahead and bring that up, make it hotter. Yeah, there we go. And then what we can do is take this color and go ahead and add some warmth and some green. And you get something along, along that line. And we'll just fade that out. And it makes it look like there's there's bounce light on that section. And we can actually add a bit of light there. Ooh. That's kind of fun. Let's see what where we go with this. So we're just kind of making a sci-fi environment and getting some neat shapes going on. I'm not really thinking about the story too much. Just kind of the overall feel of the place. Other than we have these big epic pillars and stuff. Um, and actually that's too much of a repeating shape. Let's see. This guy, um, you know what? This is reading as a um, that it's part of the architecture instead of a shadow. Um, we could make it we could make it look like a shadow, but I'm kind of digging the fact that it looks like a different material. You know, um, so what if we run with that and? Cool. I'm liking that. Okay. And then let's see. Uh, um, and then do something like Okay. So we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Let's see, what is back here? Um, make a new layer, because I don't know what's back here. Let's just hit, uh, bring out some of these shapes a little bit. Okay. So we have this very geometric thing going on, so I'm just gonna echo some of that into what's going on here. And see if we can come up with something. And if we don't, well, at least it's a interesting shapes and color, right? That's cool too. Because you never know, we could use this for something else later. Okay, let's take this guy. And do something like that. Let's get this guy here figured out. Um, let's 
So I'm going to just mirror the, uh, the zigzag on this guy. And make something interesting over here. Or, you know, bring this guy up. Cool. Okay. And then we'll just finish this off. Forty-five. So I started that other one. I'll have to look back. Just wondering how long we've been going on this new composition. But I think it's more than a half hour. That's okay. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, someone just said uh, you turn away for a little bit and then it starts looking like something. It's very true. Um, especially when we don't know quite what we're painting. Um, that's the funnest stuff like this because um, when you're free painting, you never know what it's going to look like um, until you're done when you call it a day. And although you have intentions, like loose intentions of, oh, I kind of want it like this, or, or we kind of wanted a pod of aliens and one of them broke out, it's now turning into a, a neat little geometric uh, spacey area that um, could be the scene of a cool little level in a game or something. Um, and I had no idea about, or no intentions of making something like this, but alas, here we go. It's kind of fun. So when you're working on games and stuff and you have a new, and the style isn't developed or, or whatever, um, style's not developed and you, and you're not, you're not quite sure where you're going to go. This would be considered kind of doing viz dev for a space um, and exploring what that could look like. What what is the shape language of this um, this uh, this area of this this spaceship? You know, um, and you would put this in the bag of of other sketches you do where. Maybe the shapes aren't quite so geometric. Maybe they're they're more along this line where they're it's all wires and and stuff hanging from the the ceilings and more curves. But uh, um, yeah, it's an example of the, uh, yeah. I'm approaching it the same way I would do, I'd do something like that, where you're just exploring and coming up with. Uh, Let's go ahead and bring this all the way over. And this is red. Uh, red. <laughs> um, I don't quite want red because I have this kind of glow of red fog back there. So I'm going to bring this um, into a different color. Uh, let's just make a new layer. And we'll maybe change the color on it.
Someone's saying it looks a little bit like Desmond levels in Assassin's Creed. Revelations. Oh, I haven't played uh, Revelations. Um, played Black Flag and and two and one, but uh, not Revelations. But I think I know what you're talking about. Those. Uh, cause I've seen screenshots from that one. Was it good? Did you like Revelations? Whoa! <laughs> That's nice. I'm just kidding. Um, you know what we'll do? Oh. Ah! Black Flag is the best. Yeah, I like Black Flag too. It's incredible. It's actually a good game. Oh, awesome! Well, maybe I'll have to check it out. Revelations. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> so I duplicated everything onto this layer, and now I'm using a brush set to color draw um, to just hit some of these foggy bits, these foggy areas. Um, just to see if maybe we can punch some more light without having it look too bad. Let's see. Mm, I kind of like that. Okay. Oh, this is terrible over here. Let's just fix that. Um, You need to get into a bit first, yeah. Totally. Um, yeah, those Assassin's Creed games, you have to kind of invest some time before it's like you, you really get sucked into the world. Totally. Man, I love, love those games. Yeah, I'll definitely give Revelation a try. Um, Someone's asking if we can do a pirate ship at sea. Boy, that'd be fun. That'd be awesome. Doing pirate ships. So, uh, yes. Okay, let's just wrap up this ground and then we'll call it a day on this one. What time is it? Five. Okay. Yeah, because we could we could push and pull Geo uh, on this for a while. <laughs> oh, but you know what? Let's uh, let's um, let's get a guy in there for scale, huh? Okay, let's do that. Um, let me just get this in here a little bit. Cool. Um, what if there's a dude right here, and he's checking out this cool place? All right, so I'll just put a this little space guy, and real tiny. <laughs> too too tiny. Oh, you know what? We could um put a shadow on the wall there.
<laughs> I mean, I would make this canvas bigger and uh, figure this guy out more, but um, it's okay. We'll just uh, loosely indicate a dude <laughs> over there. Checking this place out. Looks like a Jedi temple. Yeah, it does a little bit, doesn't it? Cool. I think that's good for now. You guys like it? <laughs> Man, that was a journey, huh? Um, that was fun. <laughs> there we go. Cool. I like that one. That was pretty fun. Well, thanks so much. Sorry it wasn't a alien pod thing escaping out of, out of, uh, oh gosh, we went in a couple directions on that one. Um, but, uh, I kind of like how it turned out. That was, that was a really fun one. We'll put that down here. Cool. Let's see, 455. I'm glad you guys like it. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see what we could do. Um, maybe we'll do one more. Should we do one more? It's pushing it. I'm pretty, uh, Pretty excited we got to two two sketches. Um, but uh, let's see. Before burning out rather and not taking a break. Um, so that's fun. Let's see what we can do with one more, huh? All right, let's do it. <sighs> I don't know quite what I'm painting yet, but we will see what kind of comes out of this. Let's see. Maybe, just maybe, we might do a pirate ship. Oh, thanks, H. Keza. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, someone's just saying, I should rewatch this to see the beginning. Definitely watch. Um, I'll, I'll be posting all these videos on YouTube, um, uh, after the stream's over. So in case you can't stream this, um, uh, with source quality, you can change the quality on YouTube and watch the archived like stuff afterwards. So, um, yeah, I appreciate it. Okay. What are we doing here? I'm going to do, oh man, what if, okay. Uh... So, um, someone was requesting a pirate ship, and so we're going to see if we can make a, make a pirate ship scene pretty quickly. 
without any reference here. So I'm just having fun. Let's actually drop this down uh, to 1200 just so we can be a little quicker with our brush strokes. We can always add resolution if we need it. Um, see how quicker the strokes are? All right, so let's get some wood. Actually, we can color pick from down here uh, just to uh, get some, some colors on the palette. So let's do that. Maybe it is a daytime. Uh, well, I kind of want to make a moody piece. What we could actually do is get our horizon a little hotter because uh, horizons are always typically brighter than other stuff. Then the, uh, sorry, I am I'm having trouble talking. <laughs> uh, oops. There we go. Okay. Maybe we're on... Sorry, I'm just thinking out loud a second for while we get the initial blocking in. So are we... Oh, you know what? Uh, have we done something like that before? You know, on the backs of ships, you have that awesome, like, window back there of the captain's quarters. Um, and sometimes you can see like what's going on. What if we do that? What if we have a nice little view of the back of a ship and we'll work on those windows later, but we're just kind of getting a sense of the ship and what this, what this looks like. So it's kind of going away from us. Oh, let's work on that perspective. There we go. But I want it maybe And I'm thinking the lighting's coming from the top left up here. So maybe we do this. Uh, let's see. And let's get uh Get those sails in there. Okay. And then, oh. So now I'm trying to pull and push shapes back here. Uh, let's get some verticals in there. I, I could make it skewed. Uh, I have it kind of skewed here. You know how when ships ebb and flow and they're kind of doing that, but I'm going to straighten this guy out for now, and we can always tilt him later. So let's, uh, yeah, okay. Let's just get some lines going back. Okay, there we go. What is this over here? I don't know what that is. Okay, here we go. Um, is this going? Could go all the way up. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, uh, let's see. Getting some lighter values in there in the ocean. Uh, this was... I was thinking of some peaks and stuff. Oh, let's push that. There we go. Uh-huh. Uh, 
you're going to put any of these up on your website, like a section called stream sketches or something. I'd love to have one as my background. Oh, thanks so much. Um, yes, I don't have a place on my website right now for, for this, uh, but that is in the works. Um, absolutely. It's going to be, um, yeah, it, uh, some of you are just joining me, so I'm uh, uh, trying to figure out this process of, of streaming and then, you know, what to do with the footage afterwards and um, just having fun sketching right now, but I'm working on more like structured classes and stuff and um, things like that. So once once it all kind of comes together and I figure out all the technical things, because uh, like today we figured out an audio issue I got to look into. Um, and last time we did a stream, uh, the audio was too quiet. And so we were figuring that one out. So, you know, first time doing this. Some people have been doing this for years. Um, I have been painting for years, but uh, streaming is new to me. So, <laughs> so I'm uh, trying to get on that and... Uh, create a high quality event for you guys so one step at a time that's right yeah this is the uh the second day i've streamed um on twitch so i'm trying to get it to be something you guys can join and uh, hopefully learn something As we have some fun. All right, so we got some cool mountains over here, and we got a pirate ship here. Okay, so it's starting to look good. I think we're almost at that point where we could do some adjustments and kind of knock it into the into the place where we want it because it's a little bit boring right now. Um, I mean, it's reading as a ship at sea, but um, you know what I mean. Like you saw in the other ones, we need to uh, push things around and see if we can get it in a better place. So we're almost to that point. I'm just going to see if I can define some of these edges a little bit more, get some light on this guy. Um, And I'll fix the perspective later, as I do sometimes. <laughs> um, Audio is great. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Uh, what made me want to start streaming? Um, well, I uh, was doing a couple YouTube videos before. You can check them out on my channel of, like, uh, speed sketches and stuff. And... Um, uh, but not doing them live, you know, just painting here with screen capture and then putting them on on YouTube um, but uh, With a I'm, I still work full full time and so there's not a lot of time to be um, painting and then editing and Creating classes or that kind of thing. So but what I do have time for is a few hours here and there uh, to come on here live for you guys and paint um, and so and it posts you know straight to YouTube after and you can see the sketches and we could talk about stuff right away and so it's just like this new format of being able to paint with you guys um, that was recently made available for everyone so I really like it because like yeah like I said if I'm full-time I don't have time to teach in a classroom which I would really love to do as well um, so this is another way to uh, to to teach <laughs> see what you guys make see you guys grow and learn and get better and it's more interactive you know, I get to uh, 
talk to you guys real time. You can ask questions. Um, and uh, that's the best part of it. Okay. Oh, let's get a sale in there. Uh, someone's asking what the resolution is. Uh, we dropped it down to only 1,200 pixels wide, um, 1,200 by 534, just so we could paint quicker. Um, if uh, I could always uh, up it and then you know detail it some more, um, but this is this is what one idea or one way of of uh, painting quicker is just lower the resolution. Because if you go higher, you do have to worry about um, slow down and stuff. So, especially while I'm streaming. So let's see. Uh, we got this light coming in the side. Let's get this in more into the blues. And let's just fix that. Uh -huh. Cool. All right. Okay. Let's do let's do some global adjustments and see if it should be in a better or a different place than what it is. So I'm gonna start with just a little color balance and um, play with this guy and see. I think the theme of the day is a touch of red. We're just we're just gonna call it that because <laughs> these two other pieces have a hint of red, and I'm liking the red on the mountain. So we're just keep we're gonna keep running with that theme for for today. <laughs> so we'll keep the red, but let's see if we can get um, a different vibe on everything else. But it, it was in a, a pretty good place, so we might not have to change too much. I'm just saying. And what we could do with this stuff is like, I kind of like that in the ship, but not everywhere. So again, I, I love to apply it to everywhere and then uh, control I to invert that and then select a brush and then go ahead and paint it where you want it, you know, so I can get some of those reds on the ship like that, you know, it's kind of a fun way. Uh, someone asked, have you always been digitally painting or did you start off traditionally and what medium if I did? Uh, that's a great question. Um, I started off uh, uh, digitally painting, actually. Um, I grew up um, paint or uh, drawing and sketching and copying my favorite books and things. Actually, one of them was uh, James Gurney uh, and Dinotopio. I would I would sketch his uh, uh, pages from his book, um, make copies and things. But then I was at the library um, when I was like in eighth grade or something, or seventh grade, I think seventh grade. And one of them mentioned this awesome thing called a graphics tablet. And it was right when Wacom version one was coming out. And um, I was like, what? You can paint directly on the computer? Because I was doing a couple um, like mouse paintings because I was getting into creating tileable backgrounds for websites at that point and um, um, but to have a tablet like that to, to enter it I picked one up actually I asked for one for my birthday I was 11 or 12 years old and um, started painting. So I was messing around digitally for a while um, and then got into, uh, or I took classes in traditional art after that 
um, when I got to high school and to college and stuff. But not much. I only had about a year or two of actual painting classes and um, things like that. Drawing much more time. So uh, drawing classes, you know, um, all through high school and college of, of learning how to draw better and perspective and figure drawing and things like that. All those foundation stuff. So, but uh, I kept painting digitally on the side. Yeah. So right now we have these big strokes of the sea here. Let's just make some tiny ones back there. Help the scale a little bit. So we'll just hit these guys. And actually, you know what? Um, let's see what happens when we get darker because the sea is not that bright. Only in the sun uh, or in certain circumstances it'll get real bright, you know? Um, shallower waters, of course. But uh, this kind of foamy color here, you know what? Let's just try some adjustments. Or um, So I'm going to do a soft light layer and see if we can get the water into a better place because this is pretty pretty high valued, you know? Um, so let's see. And it's a little saturated, but we'll change that in a second. Um, let's multiply it down. Actually, you know what? Let's try let's try a color lookup. And let's see. Actually, that might be good. So what uh, color lookup, if you go down here uh, to color lookup, um, you can change the 3D LUT file to one of these guys. Sorry, you can't see all the text. Uh, it's just because of my selection settings and my current settings. But what I like to do is just hit one of them and then you arrow key through them and you kind of look at the area that you're trying to fix or whatever and you can stumble on some good ones. Um, so like I like this so but I don't want it everywhere right so I'm gonna invert the, uh, the mask and then paint it back uh, in the water and stuff. And it's it's looking like mouthwatch a little bit. <laughs> so we're just gonna uh, bring it into a better place here. And I kind of want it into a bit more blue. There we go. <clears throat> so someone said, uh, so have you always had a creative side or has that grown since you've been painting? Um, and someone said, interesting. Yeah, I love James Gurney too. He has such a nice understanding with light and color. Definitely. He is huge inspiration. Uh, for me. But uh, creative side, yeah. Um, I grew up mainly doing uh, playing piano and stuff and got into the visual arts a little bit later. So I've always had a kind of creative side. Yeah. Okay. But um, as far as visual arts, that's kind of a newer thing. Let's see. I'm going to wrap this guy up, I think. So I'm just looking for what, what do we need to do to kind of finish this guy up. And so maybe it's that wake kind of coming from the boat here. Um, finishing off these mountains a little bit. Uh, oh, sail's terrible. Got to get some ropes in there. So we'll just treat this as a as a sketch, or like a thumbnail, I guess, uh, of what 
could be a, a different piece. Yeah. Or um, what could be a more finished piece? But, uh, let's see, let's see. We just kind of go around the canvas and find areas that we can fix. I was going to try to make that captain quarters um, back here. I don't know if we have, uh, I don't think I have time to finish that off. So I'm just going to paint over it. And maybe, maybe next time I can flesh out something like that, uh, which would have been cool. Uh, this is a Cintiq, yes. It's the uh, 20... I should get the model number for you guys. Not the newest one, but uh, the HD uh, before that. Um, I think it's the 27 HD. Um, Create some little clouds back there in the distance. And Maybe the sun is like way up here. Um, actually, that's fine. Let's just desaturate that. There we go. So we're just kind of... Um, Hitting the uh, the sun a little bit and putting some fog in the air. Um, and creating some of those ripples of sunlight here. And now I'm just smudging to kind of not uh, hit it all there, but uh, so I like to, you know, push it in a direction and then bring it back a little bit. Um, uh, either with adjustment layers or with brushes, brush strokes and stuff. So. It's like, you know, what, what I'm doing is a good idea right now, but then it might not work all, everywhere, right? So that's why I kind of knock it back or smudge it. Um, and this got a little too hot, so I'll just bring this back. Okay. I love the contrast of colors. Awesome. Glad you're digging it. So if the, the sun's back there, we're just going to take these mountains and just hit them with a little bit more light. See? As if they're rim lit, you know? But just the tops of them. Find some other planes to hit over here. Well, this whole thing's in shadow. Get a little more blue in those shadows. There you go. So this is turning into more of a color or a lighting key as we kind of wrap it up. It's pretty fun. Some of that sky fill on the sides of these mountains. 
There we go. Uh, I could fog this out a little bit more. As it goes back, we could get a little more saturated. So you just pull these apart and it gets a little more saturated. Got some smaller clouds back there. And then we'll clean up all this stuff. Get darker on that cloud. Huh. Okay. Firewall42 is following me. Hey, thanks for checking it out. Thanks for the follow. And, uh, Hope you guys are enjoying this. We've been just uh, free sketching today. Creating these two environments down here. And now this little pirate ship sailing on the water. We could actually see about getting thirty followers. Did I hit thirty followers? Hey, that's awesome. Thanks, guys. <laughs> and twelve viewers. Yay. No, this is awesome. Thanks so much for joining me while I'm just sketching here. Hopefully, hopefully it's been fun. So I'm going to just hit this over here with a little bit of light uh, to just try to help sell that maybe this is a shadow right here from the ship. So that's what I'm doing right now in two days yeah 30 followers in two days is that is that good I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just glad you guys are checking it out. And uh, if you're watching this later, hope you can join us next time live. And uh, always look forward to hearing your questions and thoughts, guys. As we do more of these and yeah. Awesome. I think that might call it on this guy. Perspective's off, but hey, you've got an impression of a boat on a sunny day heading out into sea. 
cause some trouble. Yeah, I think that's good. <laughs> we'll call that one final. And uh, yeah, it's a nice little color sketch. Yeah, you guys like it? <laughs> oh, pirate ship at sea. Nice. We'll save that one off. And I'll get these up on uh, Facebook and on Twitter uh, tonight. Let's take a look at these guys. Uh, someone's asking about uh, schedule for streaming. Um, nothing set in stone right now other than I, uh, I want to stream every week. So once a week at least. Um, but uh, hopefully uh, it'll be around two, two times a week. Um, and I'm going to figure out a schedule um, and then post post that out so you guys know um, but uh, yeah let's check out what we did today we started with this guy and if you missed this one you can watch it later on YouTube uh, or here on Twitch um, and uh, we were just trying to make a interior kind of space uh, spaceship room um, maybe something's happened in here someone got attacked or something um, we actually moved then to this one which started as something totally different with these cool little uh, pods and stuff. Oh man, and then it somehow evolved into this. So if you want to see that progression, uh, check that one out. And then uh, just now doing the uh, pirate sketch, which was super fun. So thank you for the suggestion um, for, for this one. And uh, we, did a, we did another one earlier. Man, it's been a fun day. Let's see what that other one was. Uh, this guy. Yeah, this was the, the space city, abandoned city um, that we did earlier. So we're just having all sorts of fun. If you guys like this, um, you know, let me know in the, or, you know, come back next time because you've already, you know, <laughs> I've seen some of you guys before and I so appreciate you guys coming back. Um, but uh, if you're if you're finding this on YouTube later, um, Check me out, twitch.tv slash metavisuals. And uh, we'll, we'll do some more fun sketching. Hopefully learn something. And just explore and stuff. Yeah. So thanks so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Awesome. See you next time.